Hurricane Ida. Here it comes, folks. You've had your warnings. You've been warned. It's been on the TV, the news, and everything else, the radios. It's coming for you in Louisiana. And it's coming with a vengeance. She is going to bottom out at a Cat 4. Right now it's a Cat 1 with 85 mile an hour winds. And it's moving in your direction. All the nice little spaghetti models, not Luguini, spaghetti models have all come into a concurrence that that is exactly where it's going to go. I've already seen on the TV the mass evacuations where people are trying to get out of Dodge and everything else. And it is just chaos. Lines are just backed up. Gas stations and stuff are running low on fuel because, you know, everybody's gassing up and trying to get out of Dodge. Now, you want to make sure this is where your evacuation plan comes into key point here, folks. You may only be able to get off an island by one way. Maybe it's going across the bridge. But once you get across the island, this is where you need to have different routes so you can get out of that traffic as much as possible to get to your safe destination as soon as possible. This thing is coming barreling at you. It's going to be knocking on your doorstep tomorrow. So you, whatever you're doing, you got to make sure that you're doing it today. And everybody from Louisiana all the way up through uh, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, right up into the East Coast, you all got to be paid close attention to this, especially you people in Tennessee that just got smacked by those huge floods. This is not going to be a fun one because you're getting more heavy rain. They're talking three to five inches as what they're predicting as of right now. We all know things change. So you need to be making plans. Check all your emergency checklists. Make sure that you do have your batteries, no matter where you live. If you're all the way up towards the East Coast, you want to pay close attention to this thing. It's going to be big. It's going to be about powerful. And it ain't messing around, folks. And you can't stop it. So check those emergency supplies list. Make sure that you got your batteries. You got some way to cook. You got food. You got water. The whole nine yards. You got an emergency plan in place. You got your emergency backpacks ready to go in case you have to evacuate in case of flash flooding or anything else. Make sure that you do have your evacuation route planned out. How you're going to get out of Dodge if the shit hits the fan. Okay, folks, let's just put it point blank. We're in emergency mode at this point. You need to be prepared. You need to be paying attention and doing whatever your local authorities are telling you to do, regardless of what you think that you should do, because they know they know what rivers and streams and dams and everything else that could flood, break or whatever and put you in harm's way. So you want to make sure that you're really paying close attention to your local news and your local authorities on what to do and when to do it. We also have another hurricane that's moving up through, and that one is Nora, and that one's going up over towards uh, the Baja, going right up through there. That's a Cat 1 also. It's going to be hitting the desert out there in Phoenix, New Mexico, Utah, that whole area, and they're going to be dealing with flash flooding from heavy rains. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, folks. You really need to be paying attention. And if you do need any information or anything like that, if you have any questions or anything, check out my hurricane playlist. I'll put it up for you right up here, okay? And it'll help you out and try to get you some information. It's something that you really want to do before the storm and before your time runs out. But if you go into the playlist, maybe there is one of the videos or something in there that can help you out in your situation right now to help get you and your family to a safe place and be ready for the storm. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me today on this video. You all stay safe out there. You stay prepped, stay ready, thrive to survive, and make sure that you are doing what your local authorities are telling you to do if you need to evacuate. This is no storm to mess with. Hurricane Ida, she's going to bomb out, and she's coming ashore at a Category 4 with 140 mile an hour winds and anywhere between 15 and 20 feet surge in water. It's not going to be pretty, folks. We've seen what has happened in the past. Don't play around with it now. If you need to evacuate, evacuate. Get what you can and get out of harm's way and save your family's lives. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Mm -hmm.